Well, he caught all of our attention with the foul mouth YouTube video. It's talking about Dog the Plow Driver. He's patrolling the roads of Lowell and getting kicks out of plowing people in in their cars and their driveways. Well, as you can imagine, the people of Lowell didn't exactly appreciate it. Neither did Dog's bosses. He wound up being fired. So what is going on with the dog now? He only wanted to talk with one person and one person only. And that's VB. He's with the dog this morning in Bill Rickon. I don't know if I'm blessed or cursed by that, Gino. It's cold, it's wet, I'm freezing, and I'm sitting next to you, dog. What the hell did I do wrong in this world? Well, they seem, they must seem to like you just like they like me, buddy. I was telling somebody on the way up here, I feel like I should have one of those T-shirts that says, I'm with stupid, and the arrow's pointing at you. <laughs> yeah. So and then I, my arrow can point up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So how does it feel knowing that for the last week you have been the main topic of conversation throughout Massachusetts? It feels great that, you know, People in the world want to see the dog or and all that kind of stuff, but to be honest with you, it hasn't it hasn't been that great because of the ramifications with you know losing the job and you know ticking off God knows how many other people call you know city hall. Or whatnot. But you understand the animosity, a guy raising oh, no, the I I and you vote perfectly. For like and basically, you, I've been told for years you don't know, know when to shut your mouth. So, but. But you plow in a guy's car, that's an enemy for life right there. So people see that video. But that's them. my that's job. son of a bee. That's my job is to plow the street. If I lifted up my plow for every car that was on the side of the road, the roads wouldn't be plowed. I might as well go park at a Dunkin' Donuts and have my coffee because nothing's going to get done if I care about everyone's feelings that they're going to get snow on their car. And I'll tell you right now, that's the first time in... Three years of plowing that we've even that I had any enough snow on my roof to even plow as high as the roof of a car. Normally, it's not like that. You know, you plow out the way you got to plow out. And everything. The way that road was, if I wasn't doing what I was doing, they would have had to shovel out to get to their car to shovel their car out. So, Let's go back to the video for a second. What was the purpose of the video? Was it a Facebook thing? Was it a YouTube thing? Was it just for friends? No, basically, I made the video because. It's a blizzard. It's the biggest snowstorm we've had since 1978, which I remember as being in a kid. And basically just to get a video of, hey, this is the blizzard. This is me with my awesome Max plow truck doing what I got to do. The snow is actually coming up so high it's over the roof of cars. I wanted to catch it on video. But then and you my the colorful track. character that runs my mouth a little bit too much and drops the F-bomb, sorry, everybody, everywhere. Yeah. And like I've been telling people, they don't seem to get it. I might be an idiot, but I'm not stupid. I realized if you don't want something to, you know, bad to be on the internet and people to know about it, you don't put it there. That, I didn't have the slightest bit of a clue that I was doing anything wrong. So I put it on there. Yes, I swear a lot. I run my mouth. It was basically showing off with my mouth while I was doing my job the right way. But you understand the irony here is you did this video because you wanted a little attention. Well, you sure got it. Well, not so much the attention, but I made the video so my friends, you know, people like that, or just people around the world. Anybody that looks at my, even the stuff I left on my YouTube page, it's not incriminating anybody and not bad or anything else, can see that I'm just trying to educate and, like, show people that, I, like, I have a video of me at a scrapyard. I made the video at a scrapyard because... Have you ever been in a scrapyard, BB? I have not. Do you know how a scrapyard works? Mm -hmm. I haven't showed you that. I'll show it to you afterwards. But basically, it's I've like, never put two different things through my nose either. Well, you know, a you. lot of people ask me, like, geez, didn't that hurt? And I'll say, hurt so bad I had to do it twice. Because <laughs> I'm just different like that. I, I yes, might have you a high are. tolerance to pain and whatnot, you know. But I, just like, I like to be different. I've said for years, and you ask anybody I know, dare to be different. Here's what I think. You're an absolute knucklehead who got caught up in something that you had no idea that you knew you were going to get caught up in, and now you just want it to go away. Is that fair? Well, yeah, pretty much. You know, I mean, hey, put it on there. If someone likes my Blizzard video, they, you know, they click on it or whatever, hey, see how many hits it gets or whatnot, you know? Fine and good. When it when it blew up after it was on the BarstoolSports.com, when did you I know couldn't this understand was, that. When did you know this was going to get out of control and you it were went, in Thursday morning, it went from 4,000 hits to 61,000 hits in the afternoon. And then, why is Fox Television sending me emails saying they want to talk to me? I don't know. It, I didn't know about the BarstoolSports.com thing until...
Ted Daniels came and said, hey, you know, your internet thing's going viral, blah, 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 da, da, da. I saw it on BarstoolSports.com. I looked at the BarstoolSports.com and basically called me a mass with the yeah, my mass driver, whole thing you know, behind it with kind of like a, almost like degrading me for being a a-hole. And I was like, wow, I didn't even know it was on there. So I looked at it. And that was the first I knew of it, but the guy, whoever does the, the Barstool Sports, played it up like I'm the bad guy. Well, you are the bad guy. In the video. Right, and I can see, if I didn't know anything about plowing and I had to dig up my car, I would have been ticked off too. But, I did the apology video, I got fired, everything else. My friend calls me yesterday and says, you got to look at Barstool Sports. I'll come and says, oh, my stomach's been in a knot about that, I can't even look at that anymore. He says, no, it's all good. I looked at it, and whoever the editor or you know, whoever does it did a complete 180 on my plow video. Because he realized so. he's he manned up like me. He's, I can see, I haven't met him before. I don't even know who it is, but he, he obviously is a lot like me because if I make a mistake, I'm not going to hide from it. And you can obviously see this. I'm talking to you on live TV. People in, people in California got a hold of me and said uh, we saw you know that I know right. saw me on the news. If I make a mistake, I'm not going to run away from it. I'm going to man up. You know what I mean? If, if I had smashed someone's car in that video, hypothetically, any other plow driver would have oh, I hope nobody sees me. I better get out of here. I would have stopped and said, hey, you I was up. plowing. I, cl I clipped your mirror. I did whatever. I did this. I did that. And I would have stopped. And I would have swapped papers and did what I had to do. Because that's what you do. You man up. Well, I think the best thing you've done is the apology video. First of all, you Well, I tried. And you know what? Even me just being the the idiot that I am, some people did say that it come off as like, you know, well, unsincere because I had the shirt that I had on and that kind of thing. But that's me. The shirt wasn't the smartest thing. But when you said, am I an idiot? Yes. Should I have been fired? Yes. I think that oh, was the smartest absolutely. thing you did. My boss did lose a lot of money by losing the contract with his plowing, which I understand. And above that, everybody else I work with is, I can't say that they're as good a driver as I am. I know as much as I do because, hey, I'm the dog. But they're right up there. They know that they know what they're doing. Did you just give a, hey, I'm the dog? That's right. How many other people have you seen that look like me, that act like me, that talk like me? That is why I'm on live TV, freezing VB's butt off out here. He's ready to turn into an icicle, and it's not even snowing yet. Normally, a person with things in their nose like that hugging me, I charge for, Don. But I'm going to let you do that for free. Uh, are you mad at your boss? Do you think you should get oh, your job? Oh, absolutely back? not. Absolutely not. I'm, if anything, I'm mad at myself. Um, for putting my boss in that position, and I'm even madder at myself that my boss had to put the operations manager that you guys had on doing the interview in that position because she has enough on her plate right now that she don't have to do, deal with stupid stuff like my video and that kind of thing. So what is your employment situation right now? We've all heard about reality shows. Uh, well, I mean, I can't go knocking on some plow guy's door and say, hey, uh, you think you can put me in the truck? I can push the baggage back. But are you going to end up on a reality show? They've been knocking on my door, and I, I narrowed it down from about a half a dozen down to about two. We'll see what happens. So then it looks like you are going to be at a reality show. Yeah, there's nothing solid yet, but they're there. Would you, know? you rather just be today? Obviously, it's raining up here, but would you rather just be lying to plow, clear and snow? I love it. I love it. I showed you my video on from Christmas Day singing and being happy about running my truck on Christmas Day, sanding and plowing so people can make it through the over the river and through the woods to Grandma's house, you know? You know what I love. I love people that are just average shows. Two weeks ago, I didn't know you. I wouldn't have known you and from Adam and whatever. <laughs> you and everybody else in the world. But then the world comes down on and right. I, you become the car that you were plowing and, and everything's pouring on you. What's your life been like for the last week? It's been crazy because I've never gotten so many phone calls or emails in my entire life. Not only just in bulk, but a news station from Tennessee called me yesterday. I've never been to Tennessee. I don't know anybody that lives in Tennessee. He was real nice and even said sorry to hear about the trouble you got to go through and everything else. But not talking, you know, after I told him, I couldn't talk to him. But that's the kind of thing. I mean, 
I don't know anybody in Tennessee. Have you been sleeping? Oh, not really, but as you can see from the video, I was up about 22 hours at that point with nothing but coffee and but like cigarettes, night, America. Like, a lot of some people night? have been posting on websites, oh, he must have been all coked out or this or that, because I did make a movie reference to Scarface yeah. in, the, in the video, you know, like pushing snow, like towing a mountain or whatever. I don't do drugs. I don't even drink. I used to drink when I was a kid. I drank up until a few years ago. You know, you get old and you get tired. You know, how many how many old guys you see out pounding down shots and chasing girls around? You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of, I've mellowed a little bit, believe it or not. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that I need if to know that. you believe part. that, I've mellowed. Well, so let me ask you this thing. For those people that have been ripping you for the last week and that have been coming down on you and have been making the death threats, what do you want them to know about you? I just want everyone to know that I never claim to be, you know, any intellectual or anything. I've been driving a truck for 30 years. Like, some people say, you sound like a dumb hick. You know, you're a scumbag, and this and that. You sound like you're uneducated. It sounds like, you know, you have sex with your cousins or something, or you're on drugs. You don't know me, so you're kind of melting off over the internet. I understand that you want to vent because you had to shovel out from whatever neighborhood you live in. But I'm just, a, I wouldn't say regular. But I'm like a hard-working guy. I've been getting up at 5 in the morning and doing the things in the trucking business for 30 years now. You drive through the Big Dig Tunnel, I worked on it. Not only constructing it, remember the central artery going through town, all that gray steel that everyone said, oh, cast the shadow and it's rusty and it's crappy and it's gross. From beginning to end, tearing that down, I worked on that and took out thousands of loads of steel to the scrap yard from there without ever having a problem or anything like that. That's the kind of, you know, work that I do and what I do every, you know, that's it. You brought up an issue, so I feel like we should get to it. Do you have sex with your cousins? <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually have three cousins. They're all guys, and um, I dig the chicks, and I'm single, so <laughs> hey, if you're out there. He's single, uh, ladies. Look, yeah, dog. Can you imagine a guy like me? He's single, I'll right? say this for you. I called you up. I said, you got to answer some of these questions. you got to let people know what you are. You said, all right, get your butt up to Bill Ricker, and I'll do it. I appreciate that. Yep. This is it. I'm not saying I did a 180 on you. How about like a 170? I'm almost there. Ah, uh, well, 170. Once you give up You're the, there. Once you give up he, the he cigarettes. He doesn't want to admit on TV, but he's there. He's a dog fan. I'll tell you what, dog. But before we go, hi, Mom. I'm okay. I think, I think Mom's at home going, eh, no, dog, no. Wait, wait, my mouth is my dog. I just keep my mouth shut. We'll do it in so. classic dog style. Let's look in that camera, both of us, and we're going to throw it back to Gene and Cerbani, all right? Here we go. All right. From VB and the dog, Gene and Cerbani. Back to you. Peace out. Oh, boy. Are your emails and your tweets blown up right we now? Gotta, we got some reaction, sure. <laughs>